Get him farther away now. Okay, so that means Arnie and Tony will be heading back here. If they get away, they'll be heading back. Oh, they'll get away. Arnie's smart. He knows how to lead them cops dizzy. Wish I was smart. Please, boss, can he come in now? Why don't we start dividing this stuff while we're waiting? Leave it alone and sit down. Nobody divides anything till Arnie and Tony get here. That was part of the deal I gave them. Arnie would get very excited if he heard you suggest such a thing. Well, why ain't he here then? I don't hardly hear any sirens now. He'll be here. When he gets excited, he hurts people, Arnie. Ali got hurt. Bring something for Johnny's headache. Get me shot. Hello, Doc. Ollie caught one in the arm. one of the boys, never the brilliant Mr. Wheeler. Are you sorry, Doc? No, just interested. He figures things out. He don't have to stop slugs. That's why I'm on top. And you're a bum, Doc. I figure things out. Clean. You went right through. Oh! Why, well, you dirty! I, I'm sorry, Laura. A bullet, boss. Bullet or no bullet, watch your language. I don't like it. How'd you know I had a headache? You get one every time you engineer near a bank robbery or has to pay a roll, hadn't you noticed? Occupational disease, nerves. Nothing makes me nervous. But if you had your choice between those two, you'd take that one, Doc. I shouldn't think you'd leave it lying around. You stole it. Someone else might steal it from you. What would you do with 200,000 bucks? Live well till my number's up. Nobody in the world would try to steal it from me. Nobody in the world could get away with it. You know that. So does every crook in the country. <laughs> That's why he's the big wheel. Nobody's gonna lift my cut. Nobody. Nobody. Shut up, my head still aches. It'll stop. Now, suppose take a couple of minutes. Arnie's sure taking a long time. I got plans for my part of that dough. Me and Helen. Don't look at Laura when you think of that cheap dame. We're going places, expensive places. Helen will go any place with me when I got bucks. 
A lot of guys got dames who wouldn't look at them unless they had dough. Only they don't know it because they always had dough, so they always had dames. It happens when all the dough's gone. Maybe by that time, she'll love me. Stop the silly drivel. I'm sick of it. You're getting a little punchy yourself, Doc. That's the bag with the dough. I know it. We don't make jokes about uh, things like that, Doc. Look, if you need dough, say so. You've done me a lot of favors. Maybe you're tired of working for me. Maybe you want to go legitimate, get noble, help humanity. That's OK. He means it, Doc. Legitimate medicine? Do you think if I wanted to help humanity, I'd spend my time digging slugs out of you and your hoodlums? Do you imagine you can walk out of here? Just like that? I won't know until I've tried. Put it down, Doc. Take me along. For good luck. For good luck or the money? For you. I can imagine. Looks as if I'm taking Laura, too. I'd kill you just for taking Laura along. In fact, I'm going to kill you for letting me know you want her. I'm not stupid enough to think I can walk out of here with your money and your girl and no talk. How's your headache? The pills. Yes, the pills. In an hour, you'll be cracking your spine with convulsions. In an hour and a half, you'll be dead. Unless I give you the antidote. Pills or no pills, he ain't getting away with my dough. Make him put that gun away, Wheeler. If he kills me, you're the one who'll get hurt. Sit down, Greta. Had it all planned. Huh, Doc? Of course. You're wasting time. OK. It's your hand. What do I do now? I'll telephone you in less than an hour and give you the antidote. It's all prepared, and I'll tell you where it is. You can't take a chance on that, can you, boss? He's nuts. Suppose he don't phone. The new boys in Arnie will have a bigger split when you do get him. This guy's no good for you, Laura. No good for anybody. That's right. Look at him. He's a guy with no faith in anything. In himself, his medicine, not even in you. He doesn't even believe in what he's doing now. Look at him. What do you believe in? In this, for one thing. Goodbye, Johnny. Then he better mean a lot to you, because you're going to pay top price for him. Her old man came over here to work for me. When he died, she was only 14. I kept her in this country. Spent a lot of dough sending her through school. To make you into the kind of a woman I wanted. I'm sorry. It's a slow ride down to the first floor. And it's a long walk down that lighted court to his car. I can change my mind. They ain't gonna get away with it. Pie, that's my dough. Too bad there's no other way out of here. That's why Johnny picked this place. Easy. Don't look up and don't run. That makes an animal spring. You gotta stop him now, please. In a second, they'll be gone with our dough. 
Don't let him get in that car. No, you do it. I got plans. Can you be so steady? Maybe I just don't think my number's up. Worrying about Wheeler? Time to worry about Johnny was before I opened my mouth. I could give you the antidote. You could say you went with me to get it. Will would like to believe that. Would you give it to me? Yes. Then you should have stuck to medicine and let hoodlums alone. If he's alive, you're dead. I thought he treated you very well. Gave you everything you wanted, he said. I've never had anything I wanted. Keep driving. So I turn around and go back. Smart. Smart, Doc. So the boss would pull me off and send you on your way again. Smart. No, you don't turn around. I was right in the next room when you gave the wheel of business. Right in the next room. I could have stopped you then if I'd wanted it that way. But the cops got Tony, and I'm all alone now. See, Doc? I could have stopped you then if I'd wanted it that way. Now, slide over that Laura drive. She hasn't got your guts, and she'll do what I say. Stop now, we're really in trouble. Gotta get rid of him. Conscience already? No, not conscience. But what about the telephone call? Don't worry about Wheeler. What I gave him was as harmless as an aspirin. Didn't even make it a sleeping pill for fear his pack rats might take advantage of the opportunity. What's the road? Not now. I notified the coroner. Anybody else? Yeah, uh, Dr. Matson and his wife. Just shaken up a bit. Over there. Yeah. High feeling, doctor. We have an ambulance coming. Thanks, we don't need it. I'm just a little groggy. I guess he's... Uh... His neck was broken when he hit the pavement. I just gave him a lift a couple of blocks back. That's tough luck for him. How about the uh, truck driver? I thought they were going to stop. I was blinded by the lights. I gave the officer here all the information I could, our names and uh, all I knew about him, which wasn't very much. So if it's all right, I should be getting along. I was on my way to a call. Wait a minute. Are you sure you're all right? You ought to have a sniff of smelling salts. It's in this bag. Never mind, I'm perfectly all right. If you want me for the inquest, please let me know. Don't worry, we will. 
I'll just go over and call a cab. We'll have to be on our way. A doctor's like a cop. His work's never done. Here's the ambulance. What good will a cab do us? I want to be a long way from here in case the autopsy surgeon tells them Arnie died before the accident. Where are we? Harbour Drive and Gordon. Here's one pretty close. get these guys started looking for them tonight. There won't be a rat hole in the world small enough to hold them. I don't know. Doc played it pretty smart. He played it dumb when he didn't make it poison. Yeah, I guess. They'll wish a million times I was dead. What are we going to do about Greta? Never mind about that now. Here, start calling these boys. Wait a minute. What? Call the police first. The police? Yeah, I'm a taxpayer. Tell the operator it's an emergency. Hello. Uh, will you give me the police department? It's an emergency. I thought we'd be calling them. Police department? This is an emergency. I'm trying to locate a Dr. Frank Matson, and he's out on the road. It's a matter of life or death. Yes, I can describe the car. Not much business at this time of night. Average, nine or ten cars. Far to the border? Twenty-six, seven miles. If you're going to cross at Tijuana. Open 24 hours. Me? No, the border. Oh, yes. Sure. Here. Oh. Well, tell your friends about us. Good night. Good night. Save that last swallow for me. I just want that sip. Still afraid of getting shot? Let's see if it's worth it. I love you. I really love you. I mean it. Look, Laura, when I stole that $200,000, my plans didn't include falling in love. I asked for it. Coming along was my idea. Why don't you catch a plane on the next stop? You're so far away, nobody can find you. We'll be looking for me, not you. Is she waiting for you? She? She's dead. And I don't want to feel that way twice. So that's why Johnny warned me about you. Where are you going? Mexico City, probably. But that's one of the first places Johnny will look for you. So I move on. There are lots of places I've never seen. I still want to go with you. Just for luck. On my terms, it'll never be any better. You can probably find some use for me. And if you can't, it's something we can discuss later.
All set? I can manage these. Your car will be all right in the hangar until you come back for it. Thanks. Yes? Oh, yes, Sergeant. Were they hurt? No, forget about it. Yes, I got another doctor. Thank you very much, Sergeant. They had an accident. Gordon and Harbor Drive. Pick it up from there. You cut your hand, boss. I thought Mexico City was inland. I've looked at a thousand miles of ocean. We'll leave the coast now and cut across to Guadalajara. The airlines cut in sooner. Of course, we don't want to be like the stuffy old airlines. <laughs> hmm. I used to work for a mining company down there. Digging? No. Flying payrolls in and gold out. Uh. Used to be dangerous country. What's the matter? Pretty little place there. It looks so beautiful and so safe. Safe in a cemetery, too. Just sit tight, I've got to land. No gasoline? No. I planted gas, but the pump quit on me. That's why I circled that village back there. Be sure your belts are fastened. hungry, too. I'm going to fix you something to eat. Any suggestions? Lettuce? Well, like I thought, this pump is shot. I'm sure sorry about this. 
So what happens now? I want to stick close to the plane tonight, and in the morning I'll start walking. Nothing else to do. Back to that village. Might borrow a mule there, but I'll have to go a lot further than that. No telegraph lines, no roads, no nothing into that place. You don't just happen to have a gun on you. Yes, I do. Company's coming. Buenas tardes. Pasó algo? Estaba en el pueblo y temí una desgracia. No fue accidente, solamente aterrizamos. One of the villagers, he heard our engine quit on us. I did not say I was one of the villagers. I said I was in the village. I'll bet you were not prepared for this emergency. How about joining me in some tamales and tortillas and coffee? I have not eaten. I accept without reservations. I'll be glad to pay you for some food. I may not object to that. Well, we might as well spend the night here with you. There are extra blankets. Hey, run along. You get your supper. <laughs> We've been alone so much, he has no company manners. Oh, gracias. First long puff. Hmm. Well, sometimes I think these give me the um, heartburn. You think these things are bad for me, Doctor? What makes you think I'm a doctor? <laughs> You'll find on further acquaintance what a very wise man I am. <laughs> Besides, I saw the badge of your trade, the little black bag. <laughs> In fact, I thought you must be twice as good as most doctors because you have two bags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not working at it. But if those things burn your stomach or set the bed on fire when you fall asleep, they're bad for you. Hermano, qué bonito el reloj. Cállate. ¿Necesitan algo? We are just people who work. We saw the fire burning, so we come to look. We are afraid of the dark. Well, you're welcome to share the fire. We are expecting Captain Rodriguez and his soldiers to join us soon, so you need have no fear. ¿Qué dice? Dice que esperan al Capitán Rodríguez. Es un cura y los hombres de Dios nunca mienten. Vámonos. Uh, sit and have some coffee. No, thank you. We just ate much. We go now. We have business. Vámonos. Charming dinner companions. They might as well have been bandits. They couldn't have frightened me more. Yeah, in some ways, they're worse. Two of the Morales brothers, that big one is Francisco. I'm sorry to see him in my district. For bad boys, they're scared easy enough. They are not known what I am and believe my story about Captain Rodriguez. The little one might be wearing your watch right now. From the looks of it, you can't trust anyone around here. They believed him. The big one said, because he's a man of God and they do not lie. Isn't that right, Padre? Yes. Oh, I wear my vestments only in church. Are we near a church? Oh, I carry my church with me. All this is my parish. I am a what you call a circuit rider. Well, we may as well get some sleep. Wow. 
How do you like that? Man of God, really do not lie. It is Captain Rodriguez. ¿Qué tal, Capitán? ¿Cómo le va, Padre Moreno? Lo he buscado por todo Torutlan. Uh, Captain Rodriguez, this is Doc, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Matson, and their pilot, Senor Torres. You are not hurt. That is good. Uh, one of my men saw your plane go down. Huh? For three days now, I've been looking for that Francisco and his brothers. Another killing down the coast. Yeah, Francisco and one other were here earlier. But when I mention your name, they vanish. Sure. Now they're hiding all over. We will not get them this time. Why the force landing? No gasoline? And worse than that, a broken pump. Well, in that case, I will have to take all of you to the post. Then you can telephone. I will leave one of my men with your plane. Oh, there is no need for all to make that hard trip. He can take my mule and go with you, and I will walk back to Toll Clan with Mr. and Mrs. Matson, where they can wait in comfort. They can stay at the post. I would not want my worst enemy to sleep in that post, although I know that all the creatures of the earth, even those horse flies, are of the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Where were you going to? Mexico City. Mexico City? Ha! <laughs> right in the middle of the bullfight season. If I could only go with you. But I will see that you get there safely. Sargento, can see you in La Mula. Goodbye, madame. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you and your husband will find Mexico City the answer to all your dreams. Thank you. this village. <laughs> when I first came here, I was very young. I thought I could never be happy away from a big city and great cathedrals. But now I'm at home wherever I place my blankets. <laughs> I would not change with anyone. I can see why you like it here. Some is Mexico City. No Irene's. A dress shop. Do you plan on buying a new wardrobe in Mexico City? Well, there's a place where you can buy the necessities. The fashions won't be Mexico City's, but neither will the prices. <laughs> There's a house you can have while you're here. It's, um, it, it's much nicer than anything I expected, but uh, doesn't someone live here? Yes, I do when I'm in Tolotlan, which isn't very often. But we can't put you out. Oh, it is just for tonight. There's a room at the church. Tomorrow I must get along anyway. I appreciate it, Father. I'll be glad to rent it for however long we're stuck here. <laughs> you're running up a big bill, Dr. Masson. There's a housekeeper, Carmen, goes with the place. She will take good care of you. Buenos dias, Catalina. Who's that character? The curandera. Oh, the medicine woman, you would call her. That uh, basket of charms she has corresponds to your kit bag. And probably just as effective. Curandero or doctor, people are born and people die. You've come to the wrong country, Dr. Matson. We have too many fatalists here already. That medicine woman, is someone sick in that house? Yes, a little girl, Pepita. She's the daughter of my good friends Blas and Juanita. She has been ill, but for some reason gets no better. I thought maybe the doctor would have a look at her. That explains one thing. Oh, but there really are horseflies at the post. And not here, I suppose. Take this. One patient. We won't be long. Hello, Santiago. How is Pepita? No sigue mejor, padre. I think that she is worse today.
Buenos días, padre. Blas. Traigo un doctor americano para ver a Pepita. ¡Fuera! ¡Fuera de aquí los dos! No queremos extranjeros. Sácalos de tu casa. Cálmate, Catalina. No sería malo que le examinara. Échalos de aquí. Ya casi la tenía curada. Yo siempre los he cuidado. ¿O quieres que me vaya para que todos se mueran? No, no. Solo les pido una cosa. Que permitan al doctor revisar a Pepita. Se lo agradecemos mucho. Pero nosotros le tenemos fe a la curandera. Mire, déjenos solos, por favor. Santiago, díselo tú en inglés. They are afraid of Catalina because they have always depended on her. Apa, por favor. Calla. Ya lo oyeron. ¿Qué esperan? Lárguense. Si algo le pasa a tu hija. No mind, father. It's too late for me anyway. But you're needed. Sparkus Maisel. That poor woman. If you had come in time, maybe you could have saved the child. I don't know. I used to think I could save them. I used to think I did in a lot of cases. And I tried to save someone I really cared about. She wasn't really sick at all. And yet others who should have died, according to all the laws of medicine, are walking around today. de la tienda. Bueno, bueno. Yo llevo las cosas a la señora y el señor. Here are the rest of your things from the store. Oh, thanks. I need that new shirt. Here. Oh, no, doctor. Go on, take it. Buy yourself an ice cream soda. Ice cream soda? Well, a tamale then, but frosting. Ever seen. Oh, they are beautiful. So clean and shiny. Yeah, that's about the way I felt when I first got them. Say, so you speak good English. Father Moreno is my teacher. Uh-huh. Maybe someday I learn enough to have some of these. I didn't think you people cared much about doctors. Oh, I'm sorry about your sister. God wants it that way. Do you understand this thing? Yeah. Run along now. These things got in with mine. Tie this for me, will you? How can these flower sacks do so little for me and so much for you? You smell nice. Carmen had some Christmas soap. What's the matter? Nothing. Father Moreno is coming to dinner. Don't tell me you're sorry already. No. 
And why the sudden change? Do you ever know a woman who was satisfied with what she had? Good morning, Santiago. Good morning, Doctor. I'm contemplating the puzzling complexities of woman's emotional structure. I don't understand women. My father, one time, did not understand my mother. So he gave her a present. She still talks about it. Where could I find a present in this place? There are wonderful things at the store. So? Well, let's have a look at them. Would you like this? Oh, yes. Take it with us, huh? Don Manuel, ¿cuánto vale? 40 pesos. No, no. Eso es mucho. No te metas, chamaco. 30 pesos para el señor. Oye, ¿cómo está la mora? Apenas se pudo mover esta mañana. Mora's a horse. She's sick. Oh. Thank you. Buenos días, señor. ¿Qué pasó con la mora? ¿Ya puede trabajar? No. ¿Mora again? This horse seems to mean a lot to you people. You cannot root the field or anything without a horse. The horse dies, it is a great calamity. Is this your horse? No, but everybody uses it. Sometimes horses are a lot like people when they get sick. Do you think I could help? Would you look at her? Sure, why not? I thought after Pepita and Catalina. Nonsense. Let's see what we can do. Mora, ya sé que estás vieja y cansada, pero yo también. Si no te levantas, no tendremos con qué comer. Párate, Morita. Ándale. Aquí está el doctor que puede curar la yegua. Don't give them too much encouragement. Run up to the house and ask Laura to give you my kit bag, my tools. Here, take this. Yes, I'll hurry. Now then, Mora, old girl, that seems to be the trouble. Hey, it's 10.30. I have to give Mora another injection. It's always 10.30. That's what I like about it here. I ought to get moving, I suppose. Oh, today, tomorrow. What's the difference? It wouldn't make any difference if we weren't leaving. That's so? Look, why don't we stay a little longer? Longer? We've already waited ten days for Hank. Let him go back. Tell him we'll go on later. I don't get it. What do you see about this place that I don't? It's the first place I've ever been where I felt that the past was past. And the future was giving me a break. Wheeler, the past was past there, Laura, when I took you out of the door. Not only Johnny. Here is getting to be just us. Do you want me to tell you that I love you, Laura? Is that it? If you did, you'd realize how little time we have. You'll never get over being afraid, will you? I don't have to be afraid here. But that's not the point. That is the point. Do you think I stole $200,000 and got Wheeler on my neck for life just to bury myself in Toluclan? I guess being alone with me is the same as being buried. Look, we made a deal, remember? Now, if you've changed your mind, that's all right with me. Stay here for as long as you like. But I'm going to Mexico City. Now 
bit more if you'll just make an effort. Un millón de gracias, señor doctor. No solo salvó la yegua, sino a toda mi familia. He's very grateful to you. Oh. Oh, Santiago, tell Carmen thanks for all she's done for us and ask her how much I owe her. El doctor dice que le da las gracias y quiere pagarle. No quiero dinero. Dile que me dé más pastillas. She doesn't want money, but maybe a few aspirins. Oh, those help, did they? Gracias. Are you coming? their pets, like you did Mora. I haven't time, the plan's waiting. Santiago, round up your patients. I'll have a look at them. Si, doctor. You know, okay. See here, this isn't a peep show. You'll have to give me room. No molesten al doctor. Santiago, pets have to wait at the end of the line. Animales al fin de la línea. You have an intern, Doctor. Like it or not. All right, next. No measles? No. The competitor is here. Hmm? Oiga, gringo, metiche. Métase con los caballos y demás animales. Pero deje a la gente tranquila. Aquí, yo soy la curandera. She says that she is the curandera here. What else did she say? 
It is all right for you to cure the animals, but leave the people alone. Ask her if she's afraid they'll find out that I'm a better medicine man than she is. El doctor pregunta si tiene miedo que él sea un mejor curandero que usted. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to pull a snake out of my bag. Ask her why she doesn't cure the spots in front of her eyes if she's such a great medicine woman. Are you sure of the spots? With her blood pressure? El doctor dice que cuando usted mira, ve manchas y que por qué no se las cura. Ese no tiene ningún poder para curar. Échenlo de aquí. ¿Qué esperan? Pues, ¿qué hacemos? Drink it. It's good for what ails you. You. Trouble breathing, pains here after eating. See, it burns. Drink it. No seas bruto, que eso es veneno y te vas a morir. I. It's not poison. was a good lead. Found the car in Tijuana, the second place I looked. Did that take you three days? Well, I had to wait around a couple of days for the pilot to show up. They rented a plane. For where? Well, this guy wasn't very anxious to talk, but I got it out of him. They went to Mexico City. They're probably still there. I could go down there and find them no matter where they are. Then who'd find you? No. No, I'll take care of it. I'm not kidding myself. Sooner or later, the law will catch up with that dough. And us, too. I want them first, that's all. What's the name of that pilot? Torres. Hank Torres Air Service. He also said there was a priest might know where they are. That's great. I got crooks all over the world looking for them, and now a priest is gonna find them for me. Yeah. Priest. Could that mean they're married, you think? Drink in your own room. How are you? Mrs. Madsen, a long time. Total Blonde seems to agree with you. Thank you, Captain. Hello, Father. Hello, Laura. Ah, so this is the place they fixed up for their new medicine man. Mm hmm. Mm, very good. Come in and be comfortable. Doc isn't here. One of the fishermen had an accident. Rodriguez cannot stay. Oh, not even for dinner, Captain? I am sorry. Every once in a while, I have to ride through this region just to let the people know I'm not asleep. <laughs> Don't you believe it. He's passing up your dinner in favor of his friend's bull ranch. Oh? The ranch of my friend is the closest thing to a bullfight I get to see anymore. On my way back, I will stop for that dinner. All right. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> 
I have something to show you. Come with me. I got this from the basement of our hospital in Guadalajara. Little used, but still good. There's a real folding operating table, gasoline lamps, towels, blankets. A steam thing of a jig for sterilizing everything. <laughs> Even hot water bottles. It's wonderful, Father. He has been working with nothing. Santiago, will you get someone to help you unload this? It's for the hospital. For our hospital? Gee whiz. But that's not all. I brought you some American papers and magazines. They're hard to get here. Thank you. I'd forgotten there were papers and magazines. Uh, in this place, it is easy to forget the outside. Then one day, something comes along and reminds us it is still there. Like those. I better tell Carmen about dinner. Father? Just some things I picked up for you in Guadalajara. Long and low key. I'll thank you for all this stuff later, Father. Un momentito, voy a preparar la mesa. He's pretty serious. I'll do the best I can, friend. But you'd better be giving him last rites while I'm getting ready. Remember me, no? I meet you by the fire. Remember? Don't be afraid. I come a long way just to see you again. When you know me, you like me better. I'm a great man with the people who know me. Doc! Laura, what is this? Hello. Mira, manito. Es el hombre del reloj. Yes, I know. The man with the watch. Get out of here. I'm in the middle of an operation. Operation? What's the matter with him? Gangrene infected. He'll die if I don't take care of him now. You miserable cutthroats. You'll answer for this. Captain Rodriguez is just outside the town. <laughs> you understand that, Antonio? See. Si. Last time we believed you and you lied. This time you are right. Capitan Rodriguez is just over the mountain. <laughs> we see him go. <laughs> now, no more of this. You come with me and I leave your gringo alone. No se meta. No se meta. Santiago. You cannot kill a priest. You want to go to hell? Now, gringo, before I kill you, I show you how Francisco treats a beautiful woman. You won't be alive to do anything unless I treat that wound. Hmm? This little scratch? <laughs> you hear that, muchachos? The medico thinks a little cut like this will kill Francisco. <laughs> Half of the bayonets in Mexico have been in Francisco. Is he dead? <laughs> I'll show you something. This knife was cutting that. It's loaded with poison. Tomorrow your chest will look and smell just like that leg. Me la vas a pagar, desgraciado. Keep him alive. Like this, the ants and buzzards can eat him before he dies. So how you look at her. 
I think you take good care of me, as long as she is all right. Hmm? Yes. Make those friends of yours in the village behave. Dile a los muchachos que se estén quietos. Dile que se sosieguen, hombre. You, leave him alone. Come take care of me now. He's dead, no? Yes. Thanks to you. Give me the eye, Father. I stay awake. That suits me fine. I'll put in a drain. It'll have to be removed in a few days. I don't know what is this thing drain. But I think you want this operation to last a long time, huh? They're at it again. Oh, well, uh, what matters? I'm not a bad man, Captain. Just a sick man. See? I'm hurt too. That's all right, my darling. Easy. This came to me on Guadalajara. Why didn't you give it to Laura? Like anyone else, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Bad news? Yes, bad news. Evidently, someone thinks you're in Mexico City. If you like, we'll leave it that way. I know you're not fugitives from the North American police. Rodriguez checked. So it must be something personal. He better check again. This is much more than just something personal. Much more, Father. Well, uh, maybe if you... No, you can't help me in this. In a way, I'm glad you're not asking my advice. I have lived long and seen much. As to what is right and what is wrong, it is as you said with the cigar. If something troubles your conscience, it is bad. But you must settle it. I only know that everything you've done here has been good. I should hate to lose you. I'll sit with Santiago. We should have listened to you in the first place. We should never have stopped. We've got to keep on going. Where would we go? Any place. Another village, South America, any place. You were the one who said there was no place Wheeler couldn't find us. Well, maybe I was wrong. I was wrong. Things have changed since then, Laura. Everything except Wheeler. 
Wheeler hasn't changed. No, we're the ones who've changed. That's where I've got to settle with him. You can't settle with a killer like Wheeler. That's the chance I've got to take. It's too late. We were wrong from the start. We took the wrong way to find what we I'm wanted. I'm looking for the right way now. Getting yourself shot won't help. If we had a little time, maybe we could start in the right direction. Just a little more time. I want more than just a little time. I want to keep all the things that we've found here. And I can't until I've had it out with him. Then send the money back. We'll go to the police. That's the right There's way. There's more to it than just the money. I'm going back, Laura. Sorry you never got to see me in church. We will when we come back, Father. <laughs> I'm not always like this, rough. Oh, I can be very impressive. You'll see. You know, I'd like more than anything to conduct a ceremony just for you two. <laughs> Lots of people get remarried on their first anniversary. It's a promise. Fine, fine. Goodbye, Doc. Goodbye, Father. God bless you, Laura. Goodbye, Father. Doc. Who is it? Doc. I've been expecting you. I'm in a phone booth a few minutes away. If you're in a mood to talk, I want to make a deal, Wheeler. What about the money? That's close enough. What about uh, Laura? Just the money. That's the deal. Have you got it with you? Maybe. Okay. Come on up. You still got the dough, huh? Don't forget I got an interest in that money. More, I figure, with Greta and Arnie out. You're thinking over your head, Ollie. You let this Dane thing throw you. You've been different ever Shut since. Shut up! I'll teach him to cross me. I'll teach him. I hoped he wouldn't be in. I want to get it over with. As soon as I get back, we'll be on our way. What if you don't? Laura, don't ever worry about what could happen. What's to be will be, and we can't do very much about it. I'm grateful to you for what I've had for every minute in the village. I want to be sure you know, Laura, that I've never loved so completely in all my life. And that's why, if everything ended now, it would have been worth it.
the door. Let him alone. <laughs> I've been aching to do that. He wasn't so smart. I made a mistake. You're the one guy I never paid much attention to. I should have noticed. You were too far off your trolley to notice anything. The big wheel cracked up over a dame. It was something to see. He was going to leave both of us here for the cops to find. That's how he figured it. Thanks. I'll tell them how it was. You'll never get that far. They still got to have somebody to hang this on. How's Laura? <laughs> I gave you credit for being smarter than to come up here with that. Open it. Open it! You take it out. Oh, <laughs> I know, darling. For one bad moment, I thought my number was really up today. Let's get away from here. I'll go and phone the airline. We'll be on our way. You stay right here. <laughs> You the driver? Yes, sir. But it wasn't my fault, sir. 
It wasn't my fault. Even he said it wasn't my fault. He said something about an appointment. There. There, ask that lady. Ask her. She'll tell you it wasn't my fault. You know him, lady? Do you know him? Yes. Tell him, lady. Tell him it wasn't my fault. It wasn't anyone's fault. I just had an appointment. An old appointment. All right, folks, get back out of the street. Here comes the ambulance. 